Hi everybody! So you've decided you want to become a Python developer. Where exactly do you begin? Today we'll start with the absolute basics of Python, which include installing Anaconda, setting up a working environment, installing Python with some important packages, and finally testing our installation by typing your first lines of code. So are you ready to start your exciting new journey? Let's do it! Our first step would be installing Anaconda, which is the platform we use to run Python on our computer. It is very similar to your command prompt software, and we can get it for free from anaconda.com. So let's navigate there. We'll click on a download button, and here we can actually choose which version of Python we're planning to install. I'm gonna go with Python 3 because it's a newer version and I also really, really like it. We'll click on a file to begin our setup. Then we'll click on next, agree to the terms and next again. One thing I should mention, the following path would be your Anaconda root folder. So keep that in mind in case you wanna specify a different location on your computer. And now we're ready to install. The following part may take you some time sometimes even more than 30 minutes. I would suggest pressing on a show details button just to see the progress and make sure nothing is stuck. Once the installation is complete, we can click on next and finish. My screen, unfortunately, didn't capture my mouse movements for some reason, so my apologies on that. Now we're ready to set up our Anaconda environment. We'll access our newly installed Anaconda from the start menu. That would be Anaconda prompt Anaconda 3. Because you may want to work with several versions of Python down the road, it is common to create separate working environments for each of them. So let's do that. To create a new environment, we'll type conda create dash n and then the name you choose for the environment, which in my case would be Python 3.8. Then we press enter to execute and we'll confirm with y and enter again. Now we can activate our new environment with conda activate python 3.8 or whichever name you used. When you see the name of your environment on the very left of your root path, that means you've successfully activated it. Perfect! Now it's time to download your python and install it inside your environment. Let's go back to our browser and more specifically to python.org. I'm going to get the newest version of Python, which is 3.8, therefore the Python 3.8 from before. I will scroll all the way down and choose the file that's suitable for your system. We'll click on install now. And even though we see a setup was successful message, it doesn't mean you finished your Python installation we'll need to go back to Anaconda and type the following command. And make sure you're inside your environment before you do that. We'll type conda install dash c anaconda python equals 3.8 or whichever version you've downloaded. Confirm with y and enter. And actually, let's check we've got the right version. We'll type python dash dash version. Pretty simple. And we get 3.8.1, which is exactly what I was aiming for. Now, let's install some useful packages, also known as modules, which we'll use later on in our course. Packages add extra functionality to our code and provide shortcuts for complex operations. The first package I recommend installing is NumPy. We'll type conda install dash c anaconda numpy and then enter of course to execute and of course y to confirm. NumPy is the go-to package when dealing with numeric operations. It makes your life so much easier when you're handling math, numbers, matrices, algebra and so on. The next important package is pandas. To install it, we'll type conda install dash c anaconda pandas and then enter. 
similarly to what we did before with NumPy. You might be surprised, but Pandas has nothing to do with bears. It's actually meant to help you with manipulating data and analyzing it. Or, in other words, organizing large amounts of data into very, very OCD tables. The last must-have package I recommend is matplotlib. We'll install it with conda install-c conda-forge matplotlib. So this is actually an extension of NumPy and it allows us to visualize our data by plotting graphs and charts. It's very convenient when you're dealing with large amounts of information. It's basically helping you with summarizing your data into one simple plot or visual image. These, my friends, were only the tip of the iceberg as there are many other packages you might find helpful. If you're already on a mission and know exactly what you want to build with Python, I suggest installing some of these packages too, just so you don't have to worry about them later on. Good news, everybody! We can finally run our first lines of code. We'll use the help of the Jupyter Notebook platform, which can easily be installed and accessed from Anaconda as well. I actually need to activate my environment first, so if you guys closed your Anaconda window just as I did, go ahead and reactivate it. We'll type conda install dash c anaconda jupiter and enter, as simple as that. Confirm with y. Once the installation is complete, We'll type Jupyter Notebook, enter, and wait for a new tab to open in your browser where you'll be able to access your coding interface. Now we'll talk about Jupyter so much more in our next lesson, so for demonstrational purposes only, let's create a random test file with Python 3. And we'll rename the file to test, just so we don't get confused. Now inside the cell, we'll type print, round brackets, quotation marks, and inside them we'll type hello world. We'll click on run to process the cell. And yay, you've just executed your first line of code. Amazing! Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in lesson two, where we'll focus on Jupyter Notebook and what exactly all those buttons do. See ya!